Tony, it's been the subject of uh, a bit of rancor amongst your fan base, the penalty um, that the Jets got. What did you think of it? Did you think it was a penalty? No. No? Why not? Just no. Clearly wasn't a pen. Um, so will you be asking for an explanation from the referees? or If we're going to start giving penalties for challenges like that, then we've really got some, some issues. That's not a penalty. In my view, that's not a penalty. Fair enough. Um, following that also, the red card, do you think that's where this game turned on its head when Josh uh, came off? Obviously, the Jets two goals after that. Obviously, it changed, yep. What changed? Why wasn't your side able to stage a rear guard action with 10 men? Listen, they, uh, they scored um, in, those, in that moment, in that period, um, straight after the, the red card, which was Josh's second challenge. There's a challenge in the first half from Mikkel Tadze, which is a second yellow, but he had a yellow, so he didn't get a yellow card. Uh, and Joshy went, it was a challenge. The yellow card came out quickly. So if we're going to give yellow cards like that, let's just do it all the time. Let's do it throughout the whole game. Um, and that's the issue. But look, put, put that aside so we don't talk about that. For me, I'd rather talk about the first half. First half was outstanding from us, the best display we've had this year. And that's why I'm frustrated we didn't win the game. What, what about the first half pleased you so much? The whole display, the entire thing from start to half time, with the ball, without the ball, controlling the game, creating chances. It was a fantastic display. Shows a lot of growth from the team. Um, so we're, we're definitely on the right track. In terms of character, I mean, even when you went down 10, you still kept pushing on. You almost actually pinched an equaliser in, in the end. I guess, what does that say about you guys that you just kept pushing even with that numerical disadvantage? Yeah, I, I think the, the first half says the most for me about this team, uh, about what is possible, uh, what we're showing. Um, and the best, the, you know, the less said about the second half, the better. You're clearly disappointed. I mean, moving forward, how do you harness this? Can you harness this moving into the next weeks? Use that frustration you're feeling, what the boys are no doubt feeling in the dressing rooms and get them fired up for your next games? My frustration is only that that first half display doesn't get rewarded with points, nothing else. Everything else is not worth talking about. Just that. That's the only frustration I have, that that does not get rewarded with points in the game. So. We've got to continue, We've got to try and repeat that on Wednesday now uh, in Sydney, uh, try and build on that first half and, um, and the rewards will come. The points will come if we keep playing that way. Do you have any injury concerns coming out of this game or anything that you'll have to monitor heading into midweek? Um, look, with such short turnaround, there are always players that, um, you know, whether they can back up game after game every three or four days, that's something that we have to monitor and check uh, over the next couple of days before we travel. Thank you. Thanks, Bob.